Alzheimer's societies across the province are engaged in helping to make their communities dementia friendly, a place where people living with dementia are welcomed, included, and supported. Our goal is a community that pays attention to the social and physical needs of the person living with dementia. And it all starts in our homes. This Making Your Home Dementia Friendly video series will provide valuable tips for making your home the most safe and supportive environment for your loved one. Please note that while modifying your home environment, it is important to keep it familiar. The goal is to strike a balance between safety and independence. The following tips don't need to be done all at once, but prioritized based on immediate needs and your own circumstances. Please consult with your support worker at the Alzheimer's Society if you have any questions. Hi, I'm Susan from the Alzheimer's Society. Home is an important place for everyone. For the person living with dementia, a familiar environment can help them connect with the past and maintain a sense of who they are. However, some practical changes may need to be made to keep the home dementia friendly. In this video, I'm going to show you some simple tips that will transform your home into a safer and dementia-friendly space. So, where do we begin? With light. Exposure to natural light is so important. We all know how pleasant a sun-filled room can feel and how it can brighten your mood. For people living with dementia, access to natural light can assist in general well-being and helps in differentiating between day and night. To help facilitate better sleep, darken the bedroom at night. If reflections are troubling or distracting, cover the mirrors and windows. To ensure effective lighting, you can help to minimize glare, reflections and shadows, which may be disorienting for the person living with dementia. Let's move to the kitchen and dining area, where the environment is a key contributor to the enjoyment of food. A few simple changes can help make eating and drinking easier. Use tableware without a pattern and select color for plates and cups that contrast with food and the table surface. When storing food, use clear plastic containers to make it easier to see what's inside. And to make navigating the kitchen easier, you can also label cupboards and drawers to indicate what's inside. Use both words and images. Or try see-through cabinets and open shelving to allow for quick and easy location of items. Down the hall, we'll come to the bathroom. You'll want to make this room easy to find to help support independence for the person living with dementia. Confusion about the surroundings could lead to frustration and anxiety if the individual can't get to the toilet as quickly as needed. You may wish to try a brightly colored sign or simple picture to label the bathroom. Such signs are also a good idea for other key rooms within the home. Inside the bathroom, clear away items that are not regularly used. Installing a colored toilet seat may make the toilet easier to identify. To help prevent falls in the bathroom, install safety equipment such as grab bars or poles. As an additional safety measure for both the bathroom and kitchen, keep the household water temperature below 49 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Continuing on with bathroom and kitchen safety measures, Try labeling taps to indicate hot and cold and on-off labels for light switches. Falls can also take place in rooms and spaces other than the bathroom. To reduce this risk in other areas of the home, it is important to reduce clutter, which can cause confusion and distraction for the person living with dementia. TVs, radios, and other devices that are on but not in use can also contribute to distraction. Falls can also be reduced by considering the flooring Plain is best. Try to avoid flooring that is shiny, patterned, or dark in color. And a simple change? Remove tripping hazards, such as throw or scatter rugs and cords. Keep in mind that hazards can potentially rise with other common household items, particularly as the person living with dementia progresses along the disease course. Be attentive to items such as medicines, alcohol, cleaning products, sharp objects, and poisonous plants. If necessary, remove items of concern or lock them in a secure location. With so many possible safety modifications, remember to keep your home environment as familiar and engaging as you can. Place keepsakes around the home that help to trigger happy memories. 
Use a large calendar or whiteboard to record social engagements and upcoming special events, such as birthdays. And keep a list of key phone numbers with photos by the telephone. I hope this tour of our home, with its dementia-friendly modifications, was helpful. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, don't feel as if you need to make these changes all at once. Now you have the knowledge of what you can do. Prioritize the changes that make sense for the immediate needs of your loved one and your own circumstances. If you have any questions, the Alzheimer Society is here to help. Here's a recap of the tips presented in this video. For people with dementia, access to natural light can assist in general well-being and helps in differentiating between day and night. At night, darken the bedroom to help facilitate sleep and minimize glare, reflections, and shadows. In the kitchen, use plates without a pattern and color contrast them with food and the table surface. Use clear containers for storing food, label your cupboard contents, or use see-through cabinets or open shelves. Make the bathroom easy to find using signs with words and images. Contrast the colors of the toilet seat for easier identification. Install safety equipment like grab bars and poles. In both the kitchen and bathroom, make sure the water temperature is kept below 49 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit and label the hot and cold faucets. Also, label the light switches with on and off signs. Falls can take place in any room of the house. Reduce the amount of clutter, which reduces the falls risk as well as confusion and distraction for the person with dementia. Remove throw rugs and loose cords. Avoid shiny, pattern, and dark floors. Be aware of hazards in the house, like medicines, alcohol, cleaning products, poisonous plants, and sharp objects. Keep your home as familiar and engaging as possible. Use keepsakes to trigger happy memories. Set up a large calendar or whiteboard to record social events and special occasions like birthdays. And keep a list of key phone numbers with photos by the telephone.